We are on part six of problem six. Once more, you go back and modify the original problem SQ2. So we're going back to the original problem, not the one where P is less than or equal to three, to require that the universe viewed as a graph is bipartite. In that case, for what values of P and K can you guarantee that the solution to the problem is yes? Briefly justify your answer. Uh, okay, so we're not proving NP completeness here. We're just asking, uh, given that the graph is bipartite, um, for what values of P and K can we guarantee that the solution to the problem is yes? Uh, well, if the graph is bipartite, I mean, this is a pretty general problem, right? Like, can we guarantee it when K is greater than or equal to 10 with some appropriate value of P? Yeah. Well, P is essentially color, right? So uh, for because it's bipartite, for P greater than or equal to 2, um, the graph is uh, colorable. Right? Because a bipartite graph, we can color all the nodes on the left one color, all the nodes on the right another color, and we will solve the problem. Um, so for P greater than or equal to 2, this will work. And it doesn't matter what the value of k is. So actually, the only interesting question is, uh, what about p equals 0 and p equals 1? So for p equals 1, uh, only if uh, k is greater than or equal to the size of the largest connected component. And because if, if you only have one player, then you have to give all of the star systems to that one player. Um, if I recall correctly, this is a connected graph. So connected graph, then this would just be the cardinality of V. Okay, uh, for P equals zero, only for the empty graph. And that's it. Uh, this does seem like a, a difficult problem up front because of there's both P and there's K, but actually, really, the, really the only interesting part here is the first one for P greater than or equal to two. The graph is colorable. The second one's kind of interesting. If you've only got one player, then you can guarantee the solution to the problem is yes if you allow a large enough connected initial star system. Uh, but you know, then you, the one player, own all the star systems already.